Happy. TH starting on the upper left hand side of Echo Isles. And Happy on the right hand side. Obviously you put Happy in as your ace. And I'd be very surprised if that's not Lich Ghouls. But TH knows this. He knew this is a possibility for a long time. So what did the 3x come up with? No Infi, no Fly. Archmage it is. Happy. Is it instant expansion? Does he rush, rush across with the Lich? To prevent the human expansion? Lich it is. Alright, TH. I hope you're ready for this. If TH survives the early Licheras. He can do it. TH, of course, not playing too much, had some health issues in the past few years. But for tournaments like this, he's always there. And of course, he's following the scene. He knows what the meta is. Is his execution that crisp? Let's see. It's up to Happy to win the second match. For don't force me and it's not the insta aggression it's an expansion of course happy is the favorite everybody knows but every now and then there's some miracles and th he got some game tape from people like 40 expo cancelled or Zigger uh, Ziggurat cancelled for now. That should be able to buy some time. Lich is hurt. And is that the cancel of the expo plans already? I think this is a smart, even though dedicated opening. Because it goes on the cost of TH's own expansion. He farms level 2 in the meantime at the green. But no expansion either side. No tech either side. A player's forces are under attack. But when do you move back to get your second base? Well, hold on. That Lich is ultra hurt. Nova for the counter focus. Happy needs some crazy good movement. And he does. Archmage shocking around. Ooh, both are hurt. Super early aggression. What the hell? Lich is a fragile hero. And oh, oh, oh! No way he escapes here! No, he doesn't! TH gets the hero kill four minutes in the game. Water Elemental up, next one coming, and he's creeping his own expansion at the same time. The door is wide open for a miracle. It's not really about that Lich kill necessarily, it's about the Lich absent on the field. That he can't level. It's level 3 versus level 1. Water elementals are wonderful against the ghouls obviously. But that's the last one. Fast Alta, like Fortitude, instant aggression. And getting that Lich kill. No Dark Ritual, this is not unlimited Nova. Couple of kills here, gotta be careful to not donate too much. Happy, about to confirm that he is down a base. He took some peasants off the town hall to secure a shop for clarity and region scrolls. I like that. F 
Very short on lumber, though. With all the power build he was going for. Telly's there for more mobility. Can't afford boots at the moment. That would be helpful, too. But Lich is level 2. Dark Ritual. Happy's tech is about to be up, but TH's expo is finished at the six minute mark. Quite late. As he has to gather all the resources for the tech. So the tech is also gonna be late. Lich gets the boots, that's big. But Archmage will probably follow, there we go. So to what extent can these disposable footmen be put to work? Lich has one Nova. Ghoul Flood, though. Tower isn't up. And TH can't really afford a militia call. He has to salvage this with what he has. Draining some more resources with the power repair. And Ghouls get some fodder. TH has more mana, though. The Clarity was running for a long time. And Happy doesn't want to sacrifice these Ghouls. He needs them later when the, the Tier 3 is coming. Are under attack. And that's Tier 2. Clicked at the 7 minute mark. Still late, but got a hero kill in return. DK, oh, of course. Ziggurat coming. Slaughterhouse about to be up as well. DH needs towers. He got one, but that about it. Love that more and more humans are going for an earlier shop. It's so beneficial. A little too late for the slaughterhouse. That would have been the dream. But no, like... Did he even kill a single peasant? Maybe with a Nova? Speaking of Nova, call Nova now online. Then, ah, a little unlucky with the low damage roll, I guess. A little too early. TH is stabilizing, but happy around the corner for tier three. And you know how scary his push is. Towers are coming. You know he needs them. He also needs levels. Lich at the eight minute 30 mark, two and a half. <gasps> Claws plus nine, dude. Ha! <laughs> so helpful against ghouls. Against everything, basically. TH's production is out of control. Tier 2 is about to be done. He needs farms. Gets them. Happy at the marketplace. Wants the consumable. Harasses. Sees. Oh boy, that's some towers. Huge investment into the infrastructure, of course, but if he can buy some time, and he is because he's still preventing that level 3 Lich at the 9 minute mark. That's fair game. Shop is the Achilles heel of the undead, always. But he can't pressure it too much. He does pressure the Lich. Feeding some footmen. That... Footman usage, not ideal. But if he can click the tier 3 tech soon, and he can, Mountain King's coming, improved masonry coming. But this is Happy's push. Big mana, of course. Whenever it's important. Secret, crystal ball. Are there enough towers? They're still upgrading for some time. TH doesn't have the repair ready. This is fragile. This is scary. Massive Nova. Oh my god. Mountain King finds himself in the middle of it all. But he buys the time for the towers. Even if he dies, it was absolutely worth it. Because now you can't dive with a death stroke. TH needs army. TH needs time. He has a lot of gold. 
player's forces are under He's luring Happy away from that base though. And now the MK got boots. Dark Ranger third. Nice deny. There should be another one. Happy is distracted from the bases. He needs to stop the gold influx. And no Dreadlord third. That opens up the game for lots of gyros. Also tanks, probably. Because you don't have area of effect against tanks, then. Is it Knight's Gyros for the victory? Hero levels of Happy continue to be underwhelming. He abs if it's Knight's Gyros, he absolutely needs Frost Armor, not online. Happy no expansion still. Clock is ticking for TH. He got 1500 gold. Now come the gyros. Now come the knights. There should be knights. There must be knights. He's not building them yet. Ah, tier 3 is still running. For some reason it's gone. I don't know why. Sometimes not displaying properly. But you can go for gyros. Not flat cannons. Tier 3 is done. TH, you need production, my man. Four towers. The destroyers are a threat, but for how much longer? We got an orb. We got a staff. We're working on the tri hero. Destroyer already hurt. Happy is running out of time, isn't he? This camp is giving him some XP. And it will be a bit problematic for TH to get his necessary levels. Oh, flood is sick. Can TH close it out? He got the supply lead. He evened out the tech. He got the echo lead. Got a big hero disadvantage though. Looks like he's winning that air fight. If he's not committing too hard to it. Flat cannons is online. Doing massive damage. In the meantime, just a few towers are falling. Portaling back to... Oh, the gyros are losing the fight as the fiends are there now. But as I said, they can stream in super quickly. If the Destros are gone, the Knights have free reign on the ground. Happy is losing lots. Pally is coming too. Wasn't part of that TP, I guess. But where are the Gyros? Paladin next to the shop has a potion. Good control by TH. Lich doesn't have a town portal. Only the coils to save him. And still no Frost Armor. Gyro stutter stepping a bit, as you should. Can he baptize him? The age is reaching. Silence still last. Swings around for the DK. Hold on. He's stuck with the tavern. Happy losing the DK. Lich in trouble. Supply in the dumpster. Destroyers all over the place. Oh, Ling Ling Ling, you little god! Oh boy, happy! On roller skates! No counter expansion! Huge win for TH. Destros don't stand a chance anymore. You gotta move to a ground army. This is done for. The air battles will never be won, courtesy of not having a Dreadlord. Not with this number of fiends. 20 food lead. 
Dark Ranger down on level 3. And now we're finishing this honk honk with tanks. If Happy turns this around... He is literally omnipotent. This lead shall never be lost in a Warcraft game. 30 supply, 1 base up, solid hero levels, double hero kill. TH, he was just resting. Not seated in the one-on-ones, that was Infi and Fly. Not playing the first two-on-two, -two. that was Infi and Fly as well. But he got a good rest while the others were playing. And then he unleashes his strength in the twos. Aiming for the Lich now. There's still no TP. Oh no! He decided to go for level 2 Dark Ritual. What the hell? No Frost Armor. Lich was about to die. If the Lich dies, it's game again. Don't make the mistake and push too far into happy territory. Rather go for the third base. Wait for the tanks. Finish it then. Because that's exactly what's happening here. Of course, lots of opportunities with Stormbolt from afar. But don't get too greedy. Don't get too greedy. Only one staff. That's on cooldown. But here they come. Bad timing for the tanks, actually. Ooh! And Happy is finding an opportunity. TH, you gotta get out of there. Paladin! Divine Shield, like that choice. Mana! It's getting lower and lower. Archmage healed. So no aggressive coil. DK! Again! Can't use the heal scroll! It's done for once more! The water elementals can't be dealt with. Happy needs a return kill, but without coil, how do you do that? In the meantime, uh, tanks are not in the base, but he doesn't even need that. Now the Fiend falls. Level 5, level 3 water elementals. The Tauren are up now. Maybe... Ah, oh, he couldn't save that one. Invo Potion passed. MK falls close to level 3. Tanks standing around for now. They could do some damage. Also, Gyro is kind of useless. But he got the resources to buy the MK back. Important. And now staff up. DK also brought back. Eighteen minute mark. Not that much more time. Jai was always kept to the side, so you can't feast on them, can't level on them. Tanks don't want to commit, they're just on patrol to make sure that there's no expansion by Happy. Second staff online. I love it. So cheap, so impactful. Especially with knights. If this Mountain King reaches level 3 and the Pally as well, this game is over. A bomb's coming. I like that transition. The gyros are dead weight. Archmage! Staff is ready. But now, no more mana regen and no more mana in general. TH is playing this riskier than he should. By not carrying a town portal. But now, 1500 gold. He's saving it for the late game. I like that. He's not donating the tanks. I actually like that too. He's not making use of them, but they will be ready when they're necessary. Pavolos, thank you for the sub. Love your job. Thank you. I love my job as well. <laughs> Dude, not having frost armor versus fiends. Late transition. We're getting gyro bombs at the third attack upgrade. TH is aiming for the 3-3. Three, three. Unwilling to go into high upkeep. Smart. Tanks getting caught. There is a chance that TH is throwing this with hero kills. He's got to be careful. Shop control, more staffs, TP. Use your money.
Level 3 Pally. In every other scenario, this is game over. But in this scenario, the undead player wears the name Happy. And that means you can never be sure. Happy wears a town portal, gets the subi mask and the flute, super nice. He wants that lich, he wants that lich so bad. But there should be a coil in a second, which is the target for some guaranteed kills. The statues! Ooh, they're caught! And the water torrent! Short process! Invo potion needs to be used, can't allow this mountain king to die again. Banshees are coming, it's just- Oh no! This DK is stuck again! When do you ever see Happy losing a DK? Three freaking times! The paladins survive too, the knights are overwhelming, twice the supply, and 2,700 gold for TH. And he gets the third base, I love this. I love this. Keep happy busy at the south, expand in the north. Big brain place. Basically down to the heroes. The Mountain King is still hurt. Steph is ready in one. Throws the hammer. This might just be a dieback. Everybody can't aim for the surround, really. TH might lose a bit here. He's waiting for the next Storm Bolt. It's ready now. Happy knows it. <sighs> TH using the staff for the night. It's too close to my comfort. TH's next base is at two thirds. That's the stalemate breaker. Happy's on one base this entire game. But also in no upkeep this entire game. <sighs> We've seen Happy's opponents with huge leads and somehow he's always coming back. I think this was a crucial move seeing that there's Banshees. Instant mortars, instant frag shards. He, he got the gyro bombs already. And now you gotta be careful. There's a wagon. He pulls the acolytes. He's all in. Yeah, he's using all the acolytes. He's not expanding. This is it. Tanks are making sure that there's no second bait at the bottom. Waiting for frag shards. Five seconds. Three staffs. You can't be better equipped for this than the way TH is. Except maybe with more invo potions and a shop here. But that's about it. Make sure the knights don't get possessed. We're looking at the banshees. They're all exposed. I can't see them use possession yet. Trying to reposition a little bit. A hundred supply by TH. This is going to be it. The ultimate turnaround in this team match. Incredible. And he's losing more and more and more. Did the possessions work? Did he even try? I'm not sure. Dark Ranger gets level 4, but I don't see any undead knights. Not really. Nope. He's gunning them down one by one. Three times the supply! Forty is paving the way! And TH is walking the king's road. Almost no losses in this fight. No counter expansion. TH, this is my place. He has no chance in every like, There is no chance left for Happy. History 
being made right here. Arch Mage, careful. Do we have a staff online is the question. Not really. Pally, Holy Light, maybe he's not part of that fight. DK diving deep. But shut down. Mountain King again. The Storm Bolts over and over. And by God, he would love to have Frost Armor. But TH needs this Pally back. <gasps> Three, two, one. Staff up. And it's just the Knights. Happy is closing the supply gap to a degree. But... It's this... I don't know, man. How can this work? Pally is back. Mountain King is healthy. Archmage is back. With one more hero kill, that's it. Happy has no goal to revive anything. And this was stressful. And it cost a bit. It was the absence of the heroes for healing with the staff. But that's it! TH does it! He does it! The decider goes to him. The reverse sweep. A miracle on Equiles. It started with the power build. It continued with Archmage Harass. And it killed Lich. And TH... Did not fell for Icarus Syndrome. DH did not crumble under the pressure. DH did not throw his games or his heroes away. He found the DK kills over and over and over again. Expanded when he had the resources and time. And did it. He just did it. Never overcommitting. Almost overcommitting once into Happy's base, but that lesson was learned fast. And OTF, after a 0 2 start, claimed the victory on play day two. Nobody would have thought that. Ten years after winning WCG. He creates another magical moment on Echo Isles. We should call it Echo Isles as a tribute to TH. Super cool to see that someone claims an advantage. Versus Happy, versus Happy's Lich, who is so strong usually. He didn't expect that fast build and the pressure early on. He got the right amount of towers at the right time. He got the upgrades when he needed them. He had the right amount of gyros at the right time when the Destro push was coming. The timings were crisp. He played it well. Not even that perfect. Happy, I think gigantic mistake to not go for frost armor i really don't see the reason that would have helped against all the knight surrounds